guys so welcome back to the channel uh, we're going to continue from the last time the last time we actually did some design in penport so today we're going to be working through creating the application that we actually designed in penport we're going to build the app real life right now so let's quickly get into it um if this is your first time you need to go watch that video so you can actually get to understand what we're trying to build but you can still join here if you just want to follow on the app development part Okay, so um, I have here the Baybone application that is actually bootstrapped, you know, when you create your Flutter application, just nothing serious, just um, the Baybone application that when you run Flutter create and you have this particular start application, nothing serious is inside. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, lay out this guy. I mean, like just to remove the strip, the comment out. All right, so I'm going to replace that with empty string. I'm using the regex to actually clean this out. So that done. All right, we could actually start building our application. So let me quickly walk you through the folders that we have. I've added this folder structure so that the app we're going to be doing is just going to be kind of easy for us to to work on, right? So in the data folder, I have music data of that. And I also have a model folder that has the music model. I have other two screens called screens and uh, utils. All right, in the screens folder is where we actually host our two screens because what we're trying to build, let me show that to you again. We are building these two. If you look at this, we're actually building this guy. So this is gonna be the music player screen, just like you're seeing here, music player screen. This is what we designed in Penport. So if you've not actually seen that one, you might just need to watch the video. It's going to give you more uh, balanced mindset on what we're trying to do. So that's one of the screens. And the second screen is this one. This one is the one that holds the music uh, that is about to be played. So if you check out here, is you can see that we have artist music screen. And that file is actually a blank files, basically. So if I click on this, you can see there are blank files. This one is also a blank file. This is just for us to be able to move ahead. Uh, in the data file, we also have a blank file as well. So the only place that we have item is actually in the music models. So in the music model, I have just uh, kind of a skeletal information about what we're trying to play or what we want to display in the screen. So when you look at it, you have the ID, you have the photo URL. That's like the album art now. We have the music title, we have the music file, which will probably represent the the file we're trying to play, maybe the MP2, MP3 file. Then the total streams, like maybe number of streams that have been played on, on the on particular music, the artist name, the release date. So I created a new in, I created a constructor here and I defaulted some few values, like the like the artist name to have just Frank Ocean as the default artist. We could actually change that, change that later, but I just wanted to have default value just for design purpose and for faster demonstration. Then I also have a music file. This file doesn't exist yet, but um, it just uh, for actually reference purpose, uh, I'm not actually calling it up anywhere right now. So just for us to have a default value in case we want to start trying to play a song. So this music item model is actually what we're going to use to define the whole data that we're going to have in the music file, right? So this is going to represent the music that we're seeing here. It's going to represent an ID, the album art, the title of the, of the song, and then we have a number of strings, basically. And then there are other hidden items like uh, artist name, which are not showing here, or release date, which are not showing here as well, right? So just like other metadata. Okay, so that being said, now let's quickly start doing something serious. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out these ones. So let me close up. Let me minimize this. We're gonna reference it later as we go ahead. Okay, so I also want to point it to the icons and the images. I've already added these icons and the image. This actually we we picked these images <coughs> sorry, from the last time, all right, when we're trying to do design in Pemport. Pemport is just a figma alternative if, if this is your first time of you are in Pemport. So we have some few images that we actually used to 
uh, create the placeholders in the work we're doing. Then hand icons are actually part of the stuff we created on the, on the Pimport designs uh, last video. We have the next button that's on the music player. We have the overflow uh, icon too. We have the pause, the previous, the repeat, and the shuffle. You know, and for you to be able to continue, I've linked in the description. Um, the link to the repository so you can see that I'm actually on the startup branch of the repository so if you want to use that just quickly go to the link in the description you're going to find this particular repository it's actually finkla.musica so make sure you're actually on this particular one but for you to download you could just go to the root of the of the repo and uh, download the code make sure you're actually pointing to the starter which will actually enable you to start working from this video that we have. If you check out here, you can see I have in my popspec.yaml file, I have just a few set up here, asset.images and assets.icons. If you go back to the code, you could see I also have that ready in the popspec.yaml file. So the popspec already have these items. This is just going to help us to start creating our stuff automatically without really uh, going through a lot of stress. So I'm just referencing these two asset icons, asset images. So the one we want to reference an image in the app, we wouldn't have to go through stress again. So once you pull that, and how do you do that? You just need to, if this is your first time, you could just go to the code, like I said. And then when you go to the code, I'll, I'll navigate back again. And then you go to this place, then you copy this particular stuff and clone it directly into your machine. So you go to Android Studio, right, and then go to New, and you do New Project from Version Control. So New, new pro, uh, Project from uh, Version Control is going to give you this URL. So you can paste the URL here, and then click on Clone. So you're going to click Clone. So once you clean, you clone it, it's going to bring down the whole repository, and then make sure you switch. Make sure you switch to the starter so how do you do that so once you have that repository cloned you, you click on this place and then switch to the starter so you can flow along so that's all we need to know before we can start writing the core code now okay so let's expand this a little bit okay so if you look at this particular item you can see that we have kind of a row like structure so items are actually laid from left to right all right so we're going to start creating a stateless widget because this is going to be a tile so i'm going to create a stateless widget so i'm going to call this uh, music music item tile right i think i'm actually doing it in the wrong file I'm actually on the music screen, so this is not the screen that we're actually trying to build this individual component. So this is supposed to be in the supposed to be in the in the widget, the the normal music tab, which is an empty file, right? So I'm going to go ahead and paste it down here. Music item. So let me try to correct this typo. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and import material. So normally I just do material like this to first import. So the next thing we need to do is to we need to actually uh, how do we want this guy to look? So probably I'm just gonna do I'm gonna do a row. Alright. Let's do a row. And this row is gonna have children. And this children is going to be one, it's gonna be a text. This text will have probably just the a value of one. All right, no special kind of design right now. Then I'm gonna have a list style. This style is gonna have a title. Okay, trailing first. I'm just gonna do an image dot asset with uh, an empty string for now. This will that will represent this guy. Uh, and how list style works, list style actually just kind of gives you 
automatic kind of listing with this kind of style all right so that's why this style is the best option for us we can actually achieve that by ourselves by building a uh, different maybe a row column type of design but that's going to be like trying to reinvent the wheel so i don't fancy that a lot so let's quickly add a title to this guy the title is going to be a, a type a text as well so we're going to have an empty string for now because we're going to be assigning these values dynamically so also a, a subtitle with a text still an empty string and then a trailing trailing is going to give us um sorry this is trailing oh sorry i've already had trailing so i need i need leading so i need to take this guy somewhere i just need it to be at the exterior so trailing and then leading leading is the first one that is the one that's going to be here all right so image dot assets Okay, trailing is going to have this particular overflow icon. All right. Now I'm going to wrap this guy with a little bit of padding. So let me kind of format this. So I'll wrap you with a padding and uh, I'm going to do a type of symmetric horizontal. Let's say 16. All right. Maybe I need to remove the const and put the const here. I also need to wrap this guy as well with. Uh, okay. I uh, need to add this value. So let's quickly add the model. The model, we're going to be getting this value from the model. So we're going to define a music final music item model music all right that's going to represent our music so i'm going to go ahead and import it and i'm going to add this as a parameter to the constructor so that will give me access to this value so i'm just going to do music.id all right um Try and force something to because of this const value. I'm going to remove it. So I just add const to the um for the asset. I'm going to do music for album art music dot photo URL same thing music dot music title. Music dot uh, uh, I think we're just gonna use music the stream total stream right yeah for this one we're going to copy the, the trailing icon here overflow icons I'm gonna copy the path yeah so I'm going to paste it here. This one is constant, so we don't really need to. So that's just the babe on design, uh, but we're not actually seeing what we're trying to do. To, well, let me just walk you through what we did. We are setting up this guy in a row. All right, the row goes from left to right. So this is representing the, the this number. The leading is representing the image. The title, the subtitle is this one. The trailing is this icon. All right, so let's see how it goes. But first of all, I need to wrap this guy with expanded because it's going to be a problem if I don't put if I don't use expanded when I'm using a list style. So I'm going to wrap it with a widget. Widget type expanded. Yeah. So first of all, let's go back to the screen and try to clean up what we have in this place. And before we do that, let's try to run the application so we can actually see what we have. Just a default Babon start our application
so the app is running now you can see okay yeah we have this up all right so but this is not what we need we need to actually clean up this guy so let's do that quickly um so we're going to go back here and uh, create a new screen this screen is going to be it's going to be the artist music screen now because that's the landing page i mean we're trying to create this screen now so artist music screen so that's the landing page when the guy land once you launch the application this way you're supposed to see so we're going to call this guy artist music screen it doesn't exist yet all right so we're going to actually create that below so i'm going to go ahead and remove this particular file now so you could actually do that and we don't need this particular one this is just the counter application that's default so i'm going to go ahead and create the uh, artist music screen here all right oh, let's just quickly just do it in the in this place and then import it here so let's navigate to this place and create a stateful widget All right, so I'm going to call that uh, artist. I just sorry that artist music screen artist. We need to probably just do a little bit of refactor here. So copy artist music screen artist music screen. This music screen. All right, so let's just quickly import material as well. So my first way of importing material is this way. I'll just type material and it's going to import automatically. So okay, that's done. We need to uh, because this place we actually wanted to be scrollable a bit so that we because we're going to have a lot of other files here. So let me go ahead and add here and wrap this guy with the. Uh, a widget called single child scroll view so single child scroll view let me also wrap this container with uh, with column because uh, we're going to be stacking stuff inside so it makes sense for us to have that right so let me just make this guy a column with children okay so uh, right now we could just bring in this guy that we just did already the normal music tile so just take this guy as a widget this time around so just gonna drop it here um, right now we need to import that but we've not really defined uh, we've not really defined this information so we're just gonna do uh, create a music item model with uh, some few values all right so you can see we have some default values for artist name and uh, and music file so I need to add just photo URL so I'm gonna do photo photo URL um, ID so let me do ID first. ID, ID. Remember, everything is actually string. Photo URL is string. Uh, music title is also string. Call it hello. But like, let me just use have a nice day like we have here. You don't need to worry about this because we're going to be creating that from our. We're just going to be getting this file from the data. All right, from the data that we have, music, have a nice day, and uh, the count, total music screen, streams, let's just do 1000. What else do we need? The release date, we don't, uh, I'm not sure if release date, release, release date is actually optional. So that means we are, we're not getting errors. So let's save and uh, go back to the app and see if we have errors okay so uh this guy is string error in the home dot that that's because we need to import this uh, newly created item into this place so i save again yeah 
and this is expected so let's see what the problem is okay no material yeah our new screen is supposed to probably have it must have a material or a scaffold and you can see that we're actually just going straight up trying to pull um the information here so what we need to do is to wrap this guy with a widget called scaffold so scaffold doesn't have child but it has body okay so that's one uh something is missing here and that's the asset so we need to just probably just pull one image here I'm just going to copy the part to this particular one and I'm going to put it on the photo URL and you can see we have this but there's still um, there's still some errors being thrown why is that? so let's probably just rerun the app Okay, so for now, um, I'm going to uh, I'm going to just add a little space here. The reason is because we've not added. If you look at this place, you see we have an image first because this image is not there yet. So that's why this item is probably just pushing up too too high. So I'm just going to add a little space here with the size box. Let's do size box. size box all right with the height uh, remember that we have this constant that i showed you before the constant is where we do our default measurements instead of trying to do this manually all the time so i'm just going to copy this guy and i'm going to use it in that screen so height i'm going to use default padding so i'm going to import it from the constant and uh, I'm going to make this guy const. So let's add a comma here. So I'm going to save. Uh, if the space is not enough, we can just do it uh, times uh, times ten. We're going to remove this letter when we actually create the other screen that's supposed to be on top. So the next thing we need to do is to uh, make this image to actually have kind of clipping all right it's supposed to have clips um what i mean is supposed to have kind of rounded border right so how do we achieve that we need to visit our music tile here and add a widget called clipped rec like this and we're going to add border radius. So I'm going to do border radius dot all radius dot circular. And uh, we're going to do, I think we also have a constant here called. Uh, default value or default radius all right so let's use this guy just for consistency if it becomes too big for this guy we might need to probably maybe split it by two so it seems it's too much so i'm going to do it by divided by two Maybe like 15. So that up now we, we need to adjust this a little bit so the image is going to have a size. So let's just give this guy height of let's say 64. Oh sorry, maybe width is better. And uh, 64 as well for the height. Alright, 
since he's not responding as currently, but we need to do that. Uh, let's see. With um, 40. Okay, so a little adjustment for this image at the bottom, so we need to add, we need to probably just wrap it with uh, a padding, this padding is for the text, so the ID, okay, uh, we just need to adjust this guy a bit so that it actually comes out here, so let's wrap Let's wrap it with a padding. Edging set dot symmetric. Horizontal. Or let's just do edging set dot only. Right. Default. So that has actually pushed that out a bit. So that's what we actually have right now. So what we tried doing is to be able to actually create this uh, look. So we've not really achieved perfectly what we have on the, the music list. So we need to still work on the image and to make sure that everything is as it's supposed to be. So let's continue working on that. So what we gonna do next? Um, we need to we need to make this look better. So the best we can do that is to actually I think we might need to just wrap this guy with the size box. So let's wrap. Let's give it this height of so 60, 60, 65, and width 65. So I'm going to remove this one and I'm going to add a fit. I'm going to do boxfit.cover. Yeah, so that will give us a better look, all right. So that's basically what we need to do for this one. All right. So let's go ahead. Uh, what else do we need? Let's look at our template. Okay, so we've been able to achieve this guy right here now let's go ahead and create this guy okay so uh, I'm going to we, we need to actually create a new widget screen for that so the need the new widget screen is probably just gonna have an image and uh, some some level of text all right so let's quickly just create a new widget we're going to call it uh, album album stack So just for us to return, we're going to return a container All right
and that container should have probably just a stack right let's just do it this way child stack stack has children okay so and for us to achieve this i'm going to automatically just put this guy where we had All right, so this is actually pressing it in the wrong place. I need to take it to the music screen here, right where we're actually adding this size box. So let's put it here and uh, let's put an image, the asset. All right. And let's just grab one image, probably this one. Okay. So, um, so image is just one of the key, uh, of the children, but we need another thing. We need a row widget. So the row widget is gonna have, it's gonna have these two information here. All right. So we're gonna have the row children. We're going to have a text and the and a button kind of. So I'm going to do a text. I'm going to have Frank Ocean. I'm going to have another. Um, Another text. This other text is going to eventually be wrapped with, uh, with a container so that we can actually create something that looks like a button. So right now, let's just do, let's just do follow inside that. So and let's go ahead and add an axis alignment, main axis alignment dot space, space between. Okay. Um, let's add a bit of const here. And probably let's just do const for the whole thing. Okay. Uh, first of all. Let's give this a uh, height, but before the height, let's do a size here. Post to media query. Sort of context. Put size. Don't worry, I need to probably take this guy inside here that's just the best bet or rather we can also do a state let's do a stateless widget actually and make it stay on its own so I'll call this album album stack most stack is going to probably just return sorry about that I need to take up this other return All right so just return so so we're going to use size here with cost of size the width 
going to do height cost to size put height uh let's see divided by four um it's probably insisting that we should use some like size box if we're not adding color to it and that could be a best option so album stack let's say typo here so I'm going to copy album stack now and let's put it in place of this particular stuff we added before now we're adding the size box before here sorry there's a comma so I'm going to remove this one. I told you I'm going to remove it eventually. Add a const modifier to that. Let's save. Let's see how it looks. So um, this is how it looks so far. So let's keep working on that. Let's give the image some kind of sizing. So this guy fit box fit cover All right what else do we need we need to have we need to have some space around here so and uh, we're supposed to have that's why we need to change this guy back to a margin all right we need to change it back to a container because we need to have some kind of margin so margin we're going to do edge inserts edge inserts dot well, so let's do default padding. Let's also add some padding. This image, I'm going to wrap it with. Um, probably just gonna let's look at what we have here. So we have this image like this. With so we're going to wrap the image with a clip, clip rec like we did before. And then we also need to wrap it with. Uh, we need to wrap the image with the size box as well so that it can actually give us a particular height like we want just like we did in the other particular stuff so just let's quickly do that so let's just have the app up so that we can, can be easy for us to see so i'm going to have here size box child is the image so let's take the image and we're going to give it a height size with height let's say by three width size the width okay so probably might just not need this padding here 
So we're going to wrap the image once again with crypt clip right. We're going to add border radius border radius dot all radius for circular default radius sorry default radius and uh, our default radius is 30 so if we look at this and it looks like it's too much we'll always we'll always make it uh, smaller now it seems that it's okay the way we have it now so what we need to do next is to take down these two information and we need to bring them down somewhere around here all right so the next thing i need to do is to wrap this row with a position widget so we're going to do positioned and we're going to do top and we're going to do uh, size dot, dot height um, by three okay that seems to be higher for let's see since it disappeared what we're trying to achieve is actually to have a height but it's going to it's not going to give us exactly what we're looking for because um it's going to be dynamic sort of so which means in some screens it might it might actually disappear totally so it's, it's okay to give it a constant height let's just do something like 180 and see how okay so you can see at 180 is this place so at 200 it might totally be going down too much so let's let's do 180 and then let's do let's do left zero right zero all right and let's add um, you can see that we have frank ocean here and then we have the other text here so what we need to do is to add some kind of breadth to to the individual widgets so i'm going to wrap this guy with some padding and it's going to be padding or symmetric edge set or symmetric i'm going to give it horizontal of default padding default default padding All right, I'm going to add four to it. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing for the follow. Padding, as you said, or symmetric. Horizontal. Default. Close four. So you can see that the um the follow is somewhere around here. So I think I just need to make this guy maybe like 170 so it can come up a little bit. Alright. Yeah, it seems we are making some headway. Uh this is one of the uh longer part of this particular screen. Uh once we we're done with this particular part and we're almost done for this part all right so let's quickly just style up this francotion so i'm going to do style so i'm going to do theme sorry theme dot of context dot text theme 
let's do um, something like a subtitle 2 alright see what the problem is Okay, yeah, const, const is conflicting. Okay, so let's see how it looks. So subtitle 2, let's do the subtitle 1. Alright, now we need to do some copy with so I can actually make a little copy with color colors the white need to make this place malleable white is okay and the uh, weights W900 will be fine okay Maybe 700. So let's compare that with what we have. Probably we don't really have high, uh, sort of bigger fonts here, so we could just do it like uh, 400. Okay, so let's try to get this guy up. So we're going to wrap this particular text widget with. Um, Gonna wrap it with um, a container. This container is going to have decoration box decoration. Um, border ridges. So we're going to do border radius dot uh, border radius dot sorry that's border circular default radius so I'm gonna remove that const there it's gonna it's putting a lot of errors in our work okay So let's add a little bit of color. Colors the green. Oh yeah, something has happened. What's the problem? Values, decoration box, collision colors. Oh yeah, I cannot use color and also use decoration, so I'm gonna take the color inside the decoration. So that should solve the problem. Okay. So let's give this guy a little bit of adding edge insert. 
all default padding divided by two. Radius is also too much, so let's divide it by three, maybe two. Okay, so we need to take up this guy a bit because it seems it's too low. So I'm just going to do something like 160. The other text that seems to pad in here is way too powerful. I think it's okay. Maybe we should just adjust it a bit. So I'm just gonna copy this style from this other text. So just copy this. gonna have your style so we're going to do color here to be white as well okay so but this particular container right now we need to just give it a big height of let's say 40 45 Okay, I need to reduce this guy to subtitle to two. Okay, so this looks like it's very close to what we're looking at for. You see, um, UI is actually sometimes kind of not so easy in terms of it takes more of time because you're trying to polish the the looks. All right, uh, I'm going to change this image to the one we have in the preview, maybe. To give us more clearer view of how it looks like all right so i'm just going to see if i can find that image um which be the front front dash ocean Wow, does it mean we don't have that guy here? Which one is that again? Okay, that's that Frank. Frank one. All right. So let's quickly just add Frank one to our current projects. That's this guy, Frank One. Frank One, is that a JPEG? So it's JPG. Let's take a look again. So you see, it makes more sense now. It looks more clear to us. So that's what we did here. And it seems we're making a little bit of progress. So let's, let's take a look again at what we did. Uh, stack is actually what you use to build a very complex UI and because we are using a stack we're able to position something in front on top of another all right and it follows a particular sequence so because we're using a stack the size box is the image so it's on top and then the next one following it is the other one is the one that's going to be kind of placed on top of the the next one with a positioned attribute all right so that's what we did what we did here we, we did the height of um, size dot height by three so we're 
we're trying to divide the height of the screen. I'm going to alter this one so you can actually see the difference. All right, so let's stick with the other height of the size box now. So it seems it's better. But since we have that now, we can need to go back to 180 or even more. Let's do 200. Okay, so that's okay. Um, so we only did height for this, all right, for the size box. So, so we actually removed the size for the other one. So that's pretty better for us. Now let's go ahead and create our data screen, our data file, because that, that data file is actually what we're going to use to populate this one dynamically. So let's quickly just go into that. So uh, music data is simply just going to be a, a list of this uh, data object that we already have, right? So we have like music defined, which is the individual of this guy. So we need to create a list of that particular music, uh, probably having different music data. That's going to give us more uh, faster way to actually create uh, this without pro probably just hard coding it ourselves. So how are we going to do that? Uh, I'm just going to get a kind of predefined particular data that I actually created so that it's going to be in sync with what we already have in the in the UI that we're actually looking out for. So what you, all you need is just to probably um, pause the video and then uh, create the skeletal part of it. All right. So I'm just going to give you how it works and then I'm going to paste that. So first of all, I need to do um, a list of what, a list of objects, and this object is music, music item model. All right, so I'll call it music list. Is equals to an array of music. So I'm going to go ahead and import this guy here. All right, so now I need what I need to do is to define an instance of this guy. All right, by just doing music item model, and then I need to provide all this individual information. I hope you understand that. So then I can go ahead and create an extra value. I'll form the list. All right. So that's basically this. Just like duplicating this one. All right. So duplication of this forms the list of music. So that's pretty just what I wanted to do. So I'm just going to copy a particular one that I already have just to save us the stress. So all you need is with this format we just have. You just grab one and then do a copy and paste. You can actually create your own music titles and music names of or images. You can still reuse the image you have here. I'm just going to paste this guy here. All right. Uh, I'm just numbering it ID one photo URL, just an asset, asset images, Frank one and Frank one is one of the images we have here. ID number two images F3, which is the images we have here so that the idea is so that to be easy for us to um, automatically look them up. So with this now, I have a collection of about six music, right? So I can even copy and make an extra copy. This is an array, so we're going to iterate that. I'm going to give this guy now number seven. I'm going to probably just do. Right, something like this, and that's all we need to do. Now, since we have the music data, right, so we need to bring it inside this screen now, so that we can actually have our music populated here, and that will kind of bring this particular screen to about ninety-five percent. So let's quickly just do that. Remember, we are still in this column. All right, 
So after the stack, we had the music item tile, which is this particular one now. But because we have plenty of them now, we don't need to uh, actually do this by duplicating this. So I'm going to uh, get it from the music data. So I'm going to kind of spread the music music list now. Right, so I will need to import that music list. Right, so it's imported now. I'm going to uh, go through it, map. And I'm going to return this guy right here. So I just need to grab this guy and return it. Now I'm going to call this guy song. All right. And I'm now going to get the values from this song. Song.id. So with this, we don't need to actually uh, add code anything. Song. Uh, photo URL. Song title. And then total streams. So with that, you can save and see how it looks. You can see how fast and dynamic this is. It looks our app looks very nice now. It looks like we're actually very close to what we what we're doing. Right. So what else do we need to do? We need to add, if you look at the preview we're using, you can see that we have this particular item here. So we need to add that now. And that's below, before the songs, before the song list. So we need a row. This row is going to hold two items, children. I'm going to have a text. Popular. I'm going to have another text. With C more. Okay. And let's see how it looks. If we save it seems it's not showing up why is that Okay, so let's do a little bit of padding. Let's do a bit of padding for this one. Okay, so let's remove this const. And probably add it to the, to the row itself. Yeah, we need to add something to the row so that we can spread the, the item in between. So main axis alignment dot space between. Okay. What else do we need to do? Maybe we could just do space evenly space around now evenly let's see but I I actually agree that it's gonna be the first one we use but let's give this a shot as well so we're gonna do space between and then we're going to adjust it 
So for the second one, that's the Seymour. The Seymour doesn't have a padding yet. So I'm going to do symmetric is always a go to. I'm going to do horizontal. And still, we're going to use our default padding. And also, let's do what happened here. It seems I'm, I'm using multiple padding. That's very strange. So, we're going to do symmetric, horizontal. Okay, so we can actually do vertical as well. Let's still use the same default padding. Yeah, just to buy space. I think for the up, we're going to do divided by two. Okay, so that's one. Seems we are actually almost almost done here. Okay. So it's remaining. The next part is actually adding the other screens that is down below. It's not really visible here, but it's uh, it's in the design that we had in Penport. So we're going to actually add that here, so that it all looks uh, as we actually expect it to look like. So um, we're going to do a little bit mod modification from. Our other music tile so we're going to use this guy to recreate the, the next tile that we're going to do here so that's what we're going to be doing next all right so let's quickly do that now all right so you we're just going to create a duplicate of this guy so i'm just going to call it um i just copy this guy we're actually lazy right now because this is taking longer time so i'm just going to paste I'm going, to, I'm going to call it um, I'm going to call it remember we have this other widget here latest music tile so I'm just going to call it that latest so I'm going to paste it inside after latest music tile Is that so modify this one as well so uh, we need to just rip something off from here we're going to take out this particular id that shows up because in the other place it doesn't really have that so we're going to take out this guy probably also take out this expanded because we don't need to expand this guy we just wanted to even the row we, we are going to be removing the row because uh there's no multiple children right now it's so just going to remove the row just going to be a list style at this time around this list style is going to have it has its a title and a subtitle already but it seems you need to have something else so this place we're going to have a subtitle and this subtitle we're going to wrap it we're going to wrap it with a column so we can actually add extra information there so that's where we're going to add the release date music.release here um the release date is actually nullable so we're going to add the nullability at the back now it's not visible yet so for us to call up this guy let's take this guy now to its own screen its, its, its own file so i'm going to cut i'm going to open 
latest music tile and I'm going to paste it here and I'm going to try to import material as well okay and then we're also going to import this music item model here so what else is missing const so and that's all for this one we close it and let's bring it inside the artist screen it's going to be the last screen after the other list that we all, we all created here now so after this one so just below it we're going to add this one and then sorry what am i doing so we're just going to call that particular music item latest yeah latest music item and we're going to pass music and a particular instance so i'm going to do song um let's do music list all right i'm just going to do a particular music list inside so i'm just going to probably take the, the fourth one all right and let's see how that looks so we have an issue let's see what the problem is no operator on this particular value let's see why that happened okay so we need to particularly make a deed to our, our this value here so instead of doing this since it's not level i'm just going to fall back to an empty string all right so that will solve our problem all right so that being done now so we need to find a way to separate this and if you look at the old design you can see that we have Oh, well, this is not visible here but i would have actually loved to show you let me see if i have that i think we have we should have that's why i think we used to have something a design that we're actually using to actually look this up so i'm going to show that later but we'll have popular and then we we'll have latest music as the heading here so we need to add that in the artist screen so here we need to add a text with uh, the test music I can't remember what exactly is there And also we need to add a size box here size box height we're going to default padding you can see how this default padding is actually saving us the the, the good thing about making stuff this way is um, it's going to help you each time you want to make a change so if we decide to probably reduce this default padding so a different value we could always just go into the const file and just make changes and it's going to actually reflect in every place it's actually we need that so if we scroll down here you can see latest music we've had some spaces i'm going to also do now we have spacing on top we need to also have spacing below so i'm going to do times two here So I need it to have a little bit of spacing because spacing is one of the most important thing I, I found in making a good design. So you need to have enough breathing space. Right, latest music. What am I doing? All right, so I think it's, I took it way below. So that's supposed to be after the text
Okay, so that's that's done. We need to now use we need to make sure that this guy comes to the to the left side. So we're gonna do cross axis alignment cross axis alignment dot start start let's see all right that solves it so we need to now kind of add a little bit of padding to him add symmetric horizontal And use default padding as well. Okay. So let's add cons to the padding and probably remove other ones. So that being done, what else we do we need to do here? We need to uh, add a little bit of styling so that it stands out. So we need to go to the text and add a little bit of styling. I'm going to add style. I'm going to do team sort of context the text team dot heading. I'll do heading one. Let's see how it looks like. So I need to remove these cons here. And just add it to yeah that was very large let's do it in six <laughs> okay or probably we might just need to find okay we've not really probably styled this other one so let us this is okay like this okay oh, do uh, six is the smallest yeah Let's leave it at six and probably just do more. Let's copy with weight to W700. Don't forget to put this vulnerability. Okay, so that's one done. Let's take the same styling and add it to the other heading on top. That's where we have uh, popular. So let's find popular. Just the popular. We don't need to add it to the other one. Did you miss anything? Maybe the const is causing problem. Yeah, sometimes this const can actually cost you and you might not really know where the problem is coming from. So you have to always watch out for that. Yeah, popular, latest music. So you can see we have this right here. And this is looking very promising right so if you have actually stayed to this point and we actually spent a lot of time already you need to pat yourself at the back and appreciate what you've done so far and i hope you're actually learning what i'm trying to do um i i tried as much as possible to make it kind of interactive that's why i'm actually trying to talk and talk and all of that but uh if you find it confusing at some point just post the video go back and then probably leave a comment in the section asking me what did you do, why did you do this and why did you do that and i'll be glad to actually explain again so i have an album stack here which is this particular image and we have this latest music tile which is actually this particular latest music tile here and i have the music normal music tile which is the one we we have to iterate because there's many of them so i did music list i am iterating through the music list that is coming from the data and I'm returning an instance of these music tiles and then appending the song's uh, values inside. All right. So the need we while we're using the default pattern is it helps us to make decisions faster. You can see we're using it to actually probably divide, multiply, 
or even add some values to it just to make sure that everything looks aligned as it's supposed to be. All right, so that's just for this screen. The next thing that we need to do now is to make it more interactive so that when we tap on the, one of these icons, we could, one of these items, we should be able to probably take it to, to the next screen. And how do we do that? We need to go back to that item. Uh, I'm going to close out all these other ones. And I'm going to add something else to this file. So I'm going to add an action to it. So I'm going to do a final void callback. I'm going to call it on on tap. Why we needed this is so that when we tap on one of these, we can actually take a particular decision. And because of that, now I need to wrap. I need to wrap the whole. Okay, I might not really need it because I, I have an expanded already. So, but. Yes, I have a list style and the list style has an on top um, attribute already. So I'm just going to pass that to it. Or I can also wrap this particular row with an inkwell so that we make the whole row tappable. That will also be nice, but I think we should just do it that way. So I'm just going to wrap row with an inkwell widget. So I'm going to pass the on top of inkwell so i'm going to pass on top to it on top is going to be a function that we're going to pass afterwards so let's go back to this place where is where we're having the error yeah just because we added a new field so we need to implement that so i'm going to add the required on top field so and this on top field is going to uh do one thing it's going to navigate to the next screen that screen is not created yet so let's quickly create the next screen which is the music player screen so i'm going to do a stateful widget now stateful widget i'm going to call it music player screen All right let's still import material Just my lazy way of importing. Okay, so uh, it's going to have the final music music item model. Sorry, music item model song. So I'm just going to use that so that we can actually use that particular song that is being passed to it to to render the, the song that we want to play at that point all right so well, let's make this required okay so i'm just going to do a chart here it's just for test purpose we, we're still going to design this part because this is also one of the also um, time consuming parts of the tutorial and also one of the sweetest. All right, so let's quickly just add here um, a child, and that child will just be an image, image.asset, and the asset is going to be widget.song. Photo URL that will be what we're passing from this from the list screen. So what we're trying to do is that when we tap this guy, we are passing the, this particular song to the next screen so that we can actually display the image. All right, there's something else I want to quickly add now. I'm going to wrap this guy with um, um, I'm going to wrap it with a column, and this column. This column will represent the what will hold our image all right so and then again i'm going to wrap it with another widget called a hero widget this hero widget is going to have 
this hero widget is going to help us to do a little bit of animation so i'm going to add the tag of widget dot song dot id so yeah what, what are we trying to achieve here what we're trying to achieve is um a hero widget takes a particular tag you know to animate a particular object a particular widget right so this particular container that contains the image is going to be animated once it's tapped from the other screen so i'm also going to add the same hero widget to the originating screen so that when we, we are going to link it with the same tag right so because we know that each particular music is going to have a, this a unique id so that the 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 id that you're sending from the source is going to be the same id that is going to arrive at the destination that will help to create the sync doing the animation twin all right so i'm going to quickly go back i'm going to ignore this other stuff just let's quickly go back to the music screen and then wrap this other music tie right now which is the object that represents the particular item we're trying to click right so i'm going to wrap it with a hero widget so and it's going to have a tag that tag is going to be the same thing we passed before that is going to be song.id so that will help us track the animation and that being done we need to now implement the on click inside this place so what we're going to do we're going to navigate so let's do that navigator is what we use to actually navigate navigator dot push context and route arteria page route Yuda going to return we're going to return music player screen music player screen and our music player screen takes song So that's just what we need to do so what we did here was if someone taps on one of the music items we are pushing to this particular screen and we're taking the particular song that was clicked at that point to the next screen pretty straightforward sort of all right take the song at this index to the next screen right so we're passing remember in our music player screen we define this music song this song that we that's where we actually capture the photo url right so we're saying once you tap on this guy take the particular index that was tapped and then bring it to the next screen so let's tap <laughs> let's do this and then let's expect errors because that's basically part of the dev process so we're going to tap this one and luckily we did not have error <laughs> but funny enough there's no way to actually go back so that brings us to the next phase so we're going to quickly wrap this guy with uh... okay let's let's kind of minimize here since we've, we're done with this one let's have this guy in view so we need a scaffold also so we're going to wrap this guy with a scaffold scaffold is actually the pillar of every material application it gives you access to most of the things that you need to set up your screen so scaffold is going to have an app bar this time so app bar it's going to have a title the title is going to have a text widget with text of noun playing And 
this is going to now be body because Kafo doesn't have a child. <sighs> All right. So let's go back to the app and see if there's a difference. You can see we have this. All right, but that's not what we want. We don't want we have we want a scaffold to have background of white. So we're going to have I think we have default or primary color. I think primary color. So let's import that from constant. That's going to leave us with a white background, I think. Scaffold. So if you look now, you can see there's an error when we try to transition back. So we're going to fix that, but before then, let's fix this upper color. Scaffold is white, our uh, upper background color too is going to be primary color. And then upper. Uh, Icon team. Icon team has we need to have um okay scaffold is gonna have elevation of zero. Sorry the upper not the scaffold. Elevation zero. Okay. So this is coming up bit by bit. So what's next that we need to do? Um our upper Center text true. So we have team and let's do um team dot of context dot icon team dot color let's do black copy it let's do color colors the black Probably style this guy by itself, right? So just do style. We're going to do team sort of context the text team dot copy with color color. What's wrong? Why text style text out of onto the text team? All right, so yeah, you can't go directly to color, so we need to text in dot. Uh, let's see, subtitle so headline headline three.
Oder Pong. Let's take it bit by bit. So text team dot uh, headline three dot copy with now color colors the black. Alright, so we need to add no label stuff here. Yeah, that's way too high. Heading six, maybe, maybe okay. Alright, that's fine. So we need to add font weight. W900. will be fine. Okay, so that's it for this guy and uh, let's try to go back again and see if we get, yeah, we are still seeing that guy showing up. So we need to wrap that hero stuff here with the material. So if you check out on the error that is appearing, it's saying that no material we just found for that guy. And if we look for the file that is actually on this music tile here. So let's do, let's wrap this with material widget. Let's give it a shot again. So right now, you can see it's not happening again. All right. So we seem to be making some progress, guys. And uh, if you actually like what we're actually creating, I think you might also need to leave a comment if you think there's something that you're actually not getting right. Maybe I'm kind of faster or slower, or there's something you're actually not getting right. Or if there's something I actually missed out, so you can actually leave a comment. And uh, don't forget to share this video if you actually find it very helpful. If you're actually understanding what we're doing, share, comment, like, and also follow us on all the social media platforms. And uh, this will encourage us actually to create more content because this is just like a teaser in what we're actually going to be doing. And don't forget to also leave in a comment if you want us to actually make this particular particular application to be real. A music application that we can actually try to play songs all right probably we could have a URL where we could pull the, the songs directly from the API or we could just host it sort of yeah we can actually expand this and make it very nice or we can actually retrieve music from our phone and start playing these are all possible things we could actually do as long as your app developer nothing is impossible you just need to think about what to do and we could actually enhance this application to pull all the songs from a library. It's going to just take some time, but it's achievable. So let me see in the comment section if you actually want us to do that. So that being said, let's go ahead and enhance this guy a little bit. So we're going to bring up the design. So we need a container that is going to house the image. We already have this guy down here. So if you check out, we have that in the app. We have the down plane, we have the back button. But we need a container to surround it. So in the, we're going to close this other uh, screen. And then we're going to face the music player screen now. So this container, let's try to make it have some face. So we're going to do padding. This padding is going to be edge insert. Stop. Insert dot uh, symmetric horizontal. I'm going to do default default padding. Okay, we're also going to do margin. 
edge inserts. Probably just do all. Default. Okay, so the image going to do fit box fit cover. Let's probably just do height here as well. Let's do size dot height divided by three again, just the way we did. So we need to define the the size objects. So find size size equals to media jQuery of Context.size and uh, if you're wondering what the size is, size is actually what helps us to get the size of the particular screen that we're working on. Right, so it actually from the that package helps us to actually get the size of a particular screen so that we can take decisions based on that. So we have this already size that height. You can see it has expanded within that page now. So we're going to add color. We're going to do colors dot black. This is black top. Right. And we have padding of horizontal and um, so this is going to be times two. I'm going to do that again for the vertical. So default padding times two. Okay. Now we need to do a height. We've done height, we need to do width of size dot width. Okay, so I think four is probably higher, so let's do three here. All right. So let's see again how it looks. Right, so if we look at the reference again, we need to add kind of border to the container. So let's do a decoration, box decoration. And we're going to do border, reduce, border, reduce. All we just dot circular default default radius. Let's take a look again. Oh yeah, there's a problem here. So I think it seems it's from the color because we have probably have a color in our and we have a decoration as well. So I need to take out this color and take it to the decoration because you cannot have cannot have two of them. That's it. So we need to add some bit of const to
Oh yeah, so this is one of them. Then there's something else we need to do. We need to wrap this guy with a container, uh, a column, sorry, because we, we should be able to build on top of, you know, it's a music player that we're trying to design. So when you look at this place, you can see that we have other stuff down here. So this is just one of them. Then the next item that's going to come here. And because of that, we need to have this guy to have an expanded, expanded. I'm going to give you a flex, flex of three. I'm probably just going to copy and paste so I can have a view. But this time around, this can be flex of four, maybe. Let's see how it looks. So that means we probably just do this one four three. Okay. So this is going to be where our music controls are going to live in, right? So we very close to actually rounding up this very tutorial. So expanded is very nice because expanded helps you to actually fill up the screen depending on what uh, the type of things you actually want to lay out. All right. So this is why we I needed expanded in this case. So let's look at the screen again. So I'm going to take out what exactly um just the image part and probably the color all right just gonna put the decoration and everything if i look at what i have in the design i have sort of this so this is supposed to be like a column inside that will help us stack this stuff down here so i'm probably just gonna wrap this guy with a column and then I can go ahead and remove all these other ones so I don't need them so first of all I need to have this one it's just gonna appear here first I'm gonna do a list style this style has Uh, a title title widget is going to be a text widget and it's going to have widget dot song dot song title or oh, music title and having a subtitle of you can see that this is where actually we're using the the field uh artist name because we didn't actually use it in the in the in the list items right so it's going to be widget dot song dot artist name now um what why are we having this okay we need to wrap this i always forget this need to is a widget not a string so Need to be in the widget and the last thing to add is this particular hat icon right so if you check out our own if I should save you can see it's already appearing so i need to add a trailing widget which is going to be an icon it's an icons dot uh, hat constant probably favorite favorite yeah favorite uh, I prefer the rounded and there there we go see we have that okay we probably might need to have the field one but we can actually use this one it looks nice well, it seems the other one is going to be better. Favorite. Yeah, just favorite. 
we could actually go down to this one favorite outlined rounded span okay all right guys that's one then i need to wrap this guy with the padding as well i like giving spaces to my my project because it makes everything to looks very nice so we're gonna do symmetric horizontal default padding yeah that's nice so let's add a little bit of const here and then let's style this artist name so you don't have style team dot of context text team why i actually like using this is because i'm just borrowing from what um it's already from the material teaming so i don't need to probably you know do everything afresh so i'm just going to do some like subtitle two let's see how it looks now, this is supposed to actually go for the, the title not this one Okay, so I'm going to add extra extra property of boldness. So I'm going to do font weight. W seven Don't forget to put your null label. Okay, so when we look at this again, you can see we, we're very close to what we're looking at, trying to achieve. Seems like this also look very quite much better. All right, seems something happened before here. Okay. So what we could do to solve that problem probably is to wrap this guy with a uh, single child scroll view. Let's see what single Yeah, that's not gonna work because we have columns and a lot of things happening down here. So that's not gonna work. Then this color, this particular, yeah, that won't work because I have a hero and this hero is probably kind of wrapping the whole thing and that's totally wrong. All right, so I'm just gonna change this guy to the column. I'm going to remove this guy entirely. So let's let's streamline this. What we're supposed to have, the hero is supposed to wrap only this particular box. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take out this hero. And I'm going to wrap this particular one with a hero. It's gonna have the tag widget dot song id and uh, so that we can actually have effect kind of animation. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so what else do I need to do? Probably need to remove this container as well. OK, 
Okay, so let's go back to screen. So we have this. So let's quickly do the, the remaining parts of this. So we need to have this. It's going to be continuous stacking. So um, I already have this one. So just need to add a few more widgets. Let's do this quickly right now. So I'm going to just do. Um, Size box. So what we did is we, we try to add a space in between this particular widget and the slider. The slider is just going to represent the, <laughs> the sick button or what you're just trying to use to slide the play, uh, the playing music, right? So this value is supposed to be the value at, at a particular point where the slider is, all right? So on, the, on change, it's going to hold the value at the point when that particular slider has moved from a particular point to the next point. So the mean is the smallest, the max is the highest it can go, All right? So I'm going to define a constant value that will represent this value in this place um, because this is a stateful widget. So I'm probably just going to do, um, I'm going to do um, int value equals to 0. Point, let's just do it 25, okay, 32 maybe. Right, so that uh, it's what the value, the value is uh, a private value, so it's gonna match. So if we go back to our value down here, all right, so that should be a double because it's a double value, so I'm just gonna use double here, like three point zero maybe yeah the problem is that if we make it final we might not be able to change it so i'm going to do on change here we're going to do set states the value now it's going to be whatever the value is that we got from the slider so but because this guy is final let's make it this that's still not gonna work so i'm going to remove the final from it Okay, so let's save and see if we have errors. Okay, so we have this guy. So we're going to do a little bit of styling to it. Yeah, there's some two type of colors we want we want to actually apply to it. So um I think we have 
active color should be colors dot black and then we have just quickly look up colors active color inactive color so I'm going to just choose inactive color to be inactive color colors dot, dot black 12 yeah that's nice So let's copy and paste the size box to create a space just below the slider and uh, let's add cons to this guy, I just don't like these squiggly lines. So we need to add another stuff that's going to be a row and I want to do a little bit of copy and paste now to make this work faster so let's quickly go to our our music screen there's this particular place we define the row that has if you go back to this place we have we can simply reuse this particular widget and just change the values so let's find it it has popular and seymour so it's a row this row, you can take it. Let's go back to music player screen below the separator. Let's click on one of these. So, below here, let's add this row. This row is going to have it's going to have the value, the value that we the value of our slider. A particular point in time uh, and it's going to be the to string to string uh, to string as as to string as fixed so it's going to make it to, to the two decimal places and what else this one is going to have just let me just give it okay you can see but the size is too big for this one so I'm just going to do W400 for both and this, uh, the distance for this guy I think is too much so I'm just going to do divided by 3 Oh, we might not necessarily need to have this spacing. Let's see how it looks like without the space. Okay, I think it's because of the padding we have here. Vertical should probably go. Sorry. Um, vertical should go. What else would be? I'll oh, sort of take out this one. And horizontal can be times two here. see that this is the value yeah I need to still reduce the fonts 
just going to do this guy to be body with text and see. Right. So I'm going to take the same style and add it to this one. Style. That seems some duplicate on this guy. Yeah, I just want us to finish this so fast because it seems we actually wasted a lot of time already to take out the const. So guys, we are almost done. I can see that probably we actually at about 95% uh, <laughs> if possible because the last thing we need to do is just to bring in the controls now. This is really looking like a music player already. And if you actually find it confusing at this point, maybe you just leave a comment and we're going to come back to it. So we need to bring in these guys now. So that's just the last thing we need to do below this row yeah i didn't expect this to actually be very long but i know it's gonna take time and i didn't want it to be a kind of a speed video I wanted to I want everybody to be able to follow along and see what i'm doing i might not this might not be perfect but i believe you actually learned something trying to create this so let's quickly just round up by bringing another row this row is going to have children and the children is going to be um, an inkwell 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 actually uh, kind of clickable widgets and each child is going to be an image asset Right, it is going to be an asset slash icons, I think. Icons slash the first one is repeat dot PNG, and this is supposed to have an on top. Probably just in case we could tap the so that if we tap the particular repeat button, it's going to show up. So let's see if that is visible. All right, so it's coming up, but we need to make sure that we're actually getting the right stuff. So repeat the PNG. So image the assets assets is an with an S icons slash repeat so this should work all right so i'm just going to copy and paste this once into four places we need if you look at here we have um sh uh, repeat previous play pause next and shuffle so the remaining one is for for this so i'm just going to do so anyone so this is going to be previous underscore btn icon the other one is going to be the post The next one is going to be uh, next btn icon. This one is shuffle. We have repeat previous. We have um yeah the post should be here, but because it's white color, then we have next, then we have shuffle. So that's right. So let's add a little bit of alignment. Main axis, main axis alignment. 
for space evenly let's see yeah that's okay space evenly is fine and uh, we need to add the size bar spacing as well like we have here size box let's add extra maybe 10 okay so there's one icon that is missing here which you actually wrap up what we're trying to build so that last icon is going to be like the big play plus button right so we're going to do that now and we should be able to round up our stuff remember that the image is already there the post is already there but because it's a white colored icon it's not visible so i'm going to go ahead and ramp this particular post button with another widget called um circular avatar circular avatar and it has a child So that chart is going to be this now. So and I'm going to do color. My ground color is colors dot colors dot green. And uh, it's going to have. See what properties we have here yeah, we need to have a minimum radius that will enable us to increase so let's do minimum radius of let's say 100 that's way too high so we're going 45 14 That's what we'll do, right? Since she's still too big. Oh. Let's rerun the app. And so that make sure that everything is in sync. So this video probably takes roughly uh, very long minutes, actually, it's almost like 90 minutes. That very long. So this size is nice, and if we compare that to what we have, it seems we are. Uh...